transported to court like common criminals, 12 former leaders of Catalonia, facing up to 25 years in jail for daring to organize an independence referendum. In the ornate splendor of the nation's highest court, the 12 sit in rows in front of their judges, hearing their non-violent attempt to break away from Spain in 2017, now described as rebellion and criminal conspiracy. Nine have been in jail since that vote. The defense team wondering how, in these conditions, politics can work. Que no existe una vía de solución pacífica de los... It seems there does not exist, said the leading defense lawyer, a peaceful route to a resolution of our political differences. But while this whole spectacle is designed to show that the full power of the state will be deployed against any future attempt to break away from Spain, it is a matter of some embarrassment to Madrid that the one man they would like to be on trial in there is currently beyond the reach of the Spanish justice system. Now living in exile near Brussels, the man who as president declared Catalan independence has successfully defied extradition to Spain. Carlos Puigdemont reminds anyone who asks that previous Catalan leaders have suffered much worse. Our predecessor, my predecessor, the former Catalan president was executed by Franco. Um, it was not the first time when the Catalan leaders uh, need to go to exile or were in jail. Uh, our hope is to be the last generation of Catalan leaders uh, suffering that kind of repression. Spanish police led the effort to prevent voting in the Catalan referendum. For the most part, it failed. The difference between this and Scotland's independence vote, pretty striking. That in the Scotland has done, in Spain is a crime. To call for a referendum in the United Kingdom is, is a democratic uh, issue and is solved through non-violent, peaceful and democratic means. In Spain, that is a crime of rebellion. A position that's wildly popular in the rest of Spain. Many thousands protesting in Madrid two days ago against any concessions to the Catalans on independence. The country's main opposition fully support the tough line. Is this a show trial in order to deter other Catalan no, leaders from ever doing no, the same? not at all. I'm, I'm against those things. We're a full democracy, this is a serious country, and we will try. I, I want justice to be delivered. There's so a that, possibility they could be acquitted? Of course, yes. They don't believe but, so. But, but they, it's up to the judge. If the judge does end up jailing some or all of these defendants, it may simply create martyrs to the cause of independence. Not perhaps the best way to convince Catalans their future lies with Spain. James Mates News at 10, Madrid.